All right. You guys said it was a dub. You guys said it was a dub, so I'm going to try to believe you. So here we go. We are going to watch the Diablo 4 campfire chat. That uh, was a few hours ago. We just got out of work, and we're going to check this out. But I want you guys to have my thoughts and what I think about all of this and uh, just see hopefully some really, really good changes. And maybe they have got a ladder to help them get out of that hole that they really dug themselves into. So let's go ahead and check out this uh, dev stream here. Uh, we really have it, guys. Let me know if the sound is good on the dev stream. So here we go. Happy Friday. This is really nice. So the chain lightning is awesome. This is a huge dub for chain lightning. More importantly, to be honest, I would even be okay with the chain lightning not even getting this change. Especially since now that you're going to get the damage increase when it bounces off of anybody. That's really strong. Um, nobody ever uses firebolt, so that's whatever. Um, fireball it has an increased radius if you cast it. Uh, change to fireballs, crit strike damage is increased by 20%. Holy crap. All right, uh, Veer's Mastery, I like that. A big one. You're going to see a lot of these kinds of changes where both bonuses kind of are... Use case now. Okay, so we got Veer's Mastery bonus increased from 10% to 15%. I really like that. That's probably like one of the most used key passes for the Sork. Combustion, this is like the third time that they've changed it, right? Your burning effects deal 20 times percent increased damage. Plus an additional 2% times increased damage per unique source of burning you have applied to the enemy. I will say, like, looking over these, the increases to DR for a lot of these nodes is really, really good. The increase to crackling damage and stuff is okay. The change to fireball and meteor increases your crit strike chance. Like, that's cool. But I'm more interested in the DR aspects here, especially for Sork. That's real Sorcerer. nice. I love all the damage reduction and the max life increases. This is really nice. You can get up to 90% DR with Veer's Mastery? What? 90% with Veer's Mastery? Holy crap. Holy crap. All of the changes to Sork, all of those things, big dub. There's a couple of them that I, I think that are just really weird as far as like changing them to like lucky hit. But I do think that it's a big, big dub. Um, I, think it's, I think it's a huge dub for Sorks. And I think people are going to be really, really fun, like, like willing to change playing Sorks. Like, that's kind of nuts. Sorks are going to be super tanky, man. The Barb here, Bash, that's really cool. Maybe there's a way to start using Bash. Flay for bleed builds, big increase here. Frenzy, enhanced Frenzy, Fury gain is increased. I love this. Man, we have so much trouble on Barb's gain and Fury. Um, Lunging Strike, increased by two. Double Swing, hey, this is what we're playing right now. Uh, increase from 40% to 50%. Love that. Rupture, enhanced rupture. We just got done playing rupture, chat. Damage increase from 45% to 70. Oh my god. Bleed damage when overpowering increased from 11% to 70. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy shnikes. All right, the changes to Barbarian. Pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. I like those. Those are nice. Those are not bad. Okay, overall on Barb, Barb is okay. Barb had some pretty decent um, changes there, especially to like bleed and other skills like upheaval and some other really cool abilities. So that's nice. We're really going to have to test those out. All right, into Rogue. Uh, invigorating strike, fundamental invigorating strike, energy threshold increased to 75%. Okay, wow. They really don't want us using um, puncture anymore, huh? Forceful arrow, primary forceful arrow, change to every third cast pierces. Mm. Mm, it's okay, I guess. Caltrops, damage bonus increased. I don't think this is enough to make people use it, but that's okay. Poison trap, damage per tick increased. Oh, as if Poison Trap wasn't already good enough. We're going to make it better. All right, I love that. Sh hey, shout out to Rogues. Rain of Arrows, here we go. Change to Rain of Arrows first wave knocks down enemies for three seconds. Okay, that, I like that. 
I like that because you can you can fire off rain of arrows and then move around. So you knock down enemies and then you get all those crit strike bonuses from enemies being knocked down. Super strong. You could actually pair this with the forceful arrow into a pen shot uh, with all the knockdown. Oh, and poison trap. You could have a straight knockdown build. Holy crap. You could do like pure knockdown. Knock everything down. Have a high crit chance against enemies that are knocked and just destroy them. That's insane. Victimize. Lucky hit chance increased. Okay. Rugged damage reduction against the D uh, DOT effects increased. This is really nice for rogue. Some more survivability because rogues rogues are kind of kind of uh, squishy. Uh, siphoning strike. Lucky hit chance increased. Oh man, I don't even know why they changed it to a lucky hit, but I mean that's nice. That does helps with their their sustain a little bit. Uh, Legos aspects of elusive menace no longer requires hits to be from close enemies. Ooh, okay. It's not bad. All right. Quick shout out to Rogue. Small changes. I like it. Uh, it kind of makes sense since it's the best class in the game. So overall, not bad. Not bad for Rogue. Uh, let's get into Druid, the second best class in Diablo right now in Season 1. Earth Spike. See, I love that the direction of Druid and Barbarian is to increase resource because both of them struggle really, really bad with resource. Except for Druid. Druid has it if you have like... The Tempest Roar, and then Barbarian has it if you like have really good resource gen. Like the rings I have that you guys are going to see on Double Swing is really good. Like my resource is really really high, so even with Unconstrained, I can just swing almost infinitely. It's it's kind of it kind of nuts. Earth Spike Spirit Increase, Claw Increase, Storm Strike Increase. Love that. Wind Shear Increase and Maul. I love that they're trying to make Maul compete with Storm Strike as if the two more points of Spirit. Tamal would make somebody use this over Storm Strike or Earth Spike. It's just not going to happen. But I like it. Wolves. Okay, companions. Let's see what we got. Passive damage increased. Why can't this be higher for a companion build? Why? I got to see. <clears throat> Why can't it be higher? Active damage increased to 135%. That's kind of cool. Enhanced Wolf, damage increased, love it. Brutal, attack speed bonus increased, and Ferocious. Fortify Mountains increased. I love the boost to Wolves. I just don't see it being that great. Thank you, Storm. Oh, that's it for that's it for um, Druid. Okay. Wow, just a couple things. All right. I mean, I love the direction that they're going with Druid. Like, the, the buffs are actually not bad, and I really love that they're really trying to push a companion build that can be used, but it's not going to be incredible. Um, but it is really nice to have a companion build be better. What this means to me is like it now you'll be able to really push like rabies werewolf as a really strong leveling build. I could see that being like really strong. Like you drop companions, you just play them as you level. Like that would be cool, even if it was just that. So big dub for Druid. Skills, bone spirit, enhanced bone spirit, cooldown reduction increased from six to seven. Okay. So more bone spirit, like that. Paragon, wither legendary board, willpower requirement for bonus reduced from 50 to 40. Bonus damage per 40 willpower increased. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Legendaries, aspect of empowering reaper, change to. Damaging enemies with sever has a up to 20% chance to spawn a pool of blight. That deals up to 60% bonus damage. This effect can happen once every three seconds. Oh my god. That seems real strong. I love that they want us to get on like another skill besides Bone Spear. This is good. I love it. Aspect of Torment. Change to Essence Regen. Increased up to 170%. Oh, oh my god, dude. Now they're going to be able to, f to just spam... Bone Spear, like, infinitely. Holy crap, dude. Hey, shout out Ferguson, man. Bone Spear spam, dude. This is what it is. All right, Chad. I, th I think I've seen enough. I think I'm just going to have to go ahead and make a Necromancer as soon as we finish our barb. Let's just go ahead and get it out of the way. Oh, here we go. Here we go, chat. Temetry. All stat affects replaced with max life. Big dub. Barrier is now based on max life. It's over nine. Let's go. This right here is why Temetry was so bad in the beginning because it was based off of your 
your starting life, not max life. This is so good. And now properly accounted by conditions checking for the player to have a barrier. I think Blizzard does some cool things, right? So they, they changed how the the ability for Hoda works so we're not doing trillions. But now they're going to buff Temetries so that way we can combine it with Conceited. To have the and Conceited got buffed for the increased damage while you have a barrier. So now you can use Temetry correctly and be more tanky as a barb. And now your Hoda build is going to be doing millions and millions of damage instead of trillions, which makes it feel much better. I really love this. this I think overall that it's a, a big dub. I think like this is probably one of the best campfire chats that they've had and a lot of things going in the right direction. Uh, like I said, it just kind of sucks that it's like they had to make the game, the state of the game so bad just to do something like this. I mean, I like some of the changes. I like the DR changes for sure. I like some of the buffs coming to uh, Barbarian and Druid as far as resources. Like gaining back resources is very important for both of those builds. Um, Sork with the big survivability for Sork is good. The small changes to Rogue are just okay overall. Um, Necro's small changes were pretty solid, but I really hate that they have such a chance to get so much essence regeneration that now they're going to be able to spam Bone Spear even more. So we may have to like sleep on this and then overnight become a Necro main. I don't know what's going to happen with that. I can make no promises, but um, then the the Goblin change was very very good. The increased life to bosses is is kind of nice. But overall, I think I think this is a dub. I'm going to say it's a dub. I don't know what I would give it out of 10. I'd probably put it somewhere as like a 7, 7.5 maybe um, as a dub going in the right direction. Uh, and I only preface that. I could even put it probably lower at, at like a like a 6, 6.5 maybe. And I only say that because these things are not final. So we'll have to see what happens by next Wednesday and see what the official pass notes are and see what is actually going to be changing. But all of this was actually really good.